Hello, uh, this is Sadashu Fadnis, Product Marketing Manager for Rubidium Signal Generators here at Anritsu. In this video, I'll be explaining various trigger mechanisms available in Rubidium's Pulse Train option. If you would like to learn more about Rubidium's Pulse Train option itself, please look at video titled Generating Pulse Train Option 25, published previously. Wide variety of trigger mechanisms available in Rubidium's Pulse Train option enable users to generate long periodic and non periodic pulse patterns. Such pulse patterns are very useful for many measurement applications, including testing radar warning receivers. This video has four parts. Part one explains the setup and the free running trigger mode. The second part explains single step and single sweep trigger modes. Part three explains breakpoint and multiple sweep trigger modes. Part four, the concluding part, explains various trigger sources and how to combine them with trigger modes to generate uh, periodic and non-periodic pulse patterns. So let's look at uh, another trigger mechanism. I think we we are currently looking at free running, um, but let's choose another one. So before we choose the trigger mode, uh, we turn off the uh, pulse train modulation, go back, and then uh, let's look at uh, single step. So that's the trigger mode we will uh, look at next. And in terms of trigger source, uh, we'll leave it at a single, um, uh, which is which essentially uses internal clock to do the triggering. Okay, so this is the single step. Now we'll go back and uh, switch on the pulse modulation again. Uh, and with single step, uh, when we go back to the trigger mechanism again, uh, when you choose single step, um, each time you uh, you, uh, click on this control which is called trigger sweep um, it will trigger one burst at a time so just to just to make it clear let's go to the list again and see we have defined three bursts right so each time you um, click on this trigger sweep uh, one of these bursts will get triggered um, and we will take a look at each one, um, yeah, you know, after after triggering. Uh, so let's trigger it once. So we triggered it once. So the first burst, which is this with 50% duty cycle and three, um, it should it should uh, be uh, it should be seen on the spectrum analyzer we should be able to see that and this this is the first burst right uh, and then uh, let's go back to the trigger mode and let's uh, trigger again one more step right now this should output uh, the second burst 11 times those narrow pulses 11 times so let's look at that those are narrow pulses 11 times now go back to trigger again and trigger again. Now we should be able to see the third burst. This is the third burst, 100 microseconds high and very low, uh, very narrow low period, three times. So if you go back here, that's what you see, right? So essentially uh, the, the single step trigger mode, it, um, it outputs uh, each burst one at a time as you trigger it using this control. Uh, that's the single step mode. Now let's uh, look at it dynamically. Uh, I'm going to trigger. That's your first burst. That's your second burst. And that's your th third burst. On and on and on. You could do that, right? 
now this is you can you can trigger this manually you know the single step you can trigger manually but you can also trigger using external external gate um, and 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 currently I'm using internal clock so let's stick with uh, single so again this is the last burst this is the first burst this is the second burst this is the last burst so this is what the single step triggering mode is so the next trigger mechanism we will look at is um, single sweep we have been looking at single step so next uh, uh, take a look at uh, single sweep so before I do that let me go switch off um, um, the modulation we'll come back and enable it um, so so we have chosen single sweep we are going to stay with uh, uh, we are going to stay with single as trigger source um, and then we will go back and enable uh, the uh, modulation again the pulse train modulation again so let's look at what this single sweep does um, and uh, if we go back to the all the bursts that we have defined um, what single sweep does is uh, every time you you uh, you uh, click on trigger sweep um, the single sweep triggers all three bursts at a time and then stop uh, it will it will uh, output the first burst three times the second one 11 times and the third one three times and then it will stop so if um, uh, when compared to the single step you know in in the case of single step it was outputting one burst at a time but in this single sweep it will output it will output all three bursts at a time uh, so let's take a look at that um, so we we have chosen we have set single sweep and uh, source is the same so let's trigger and you see it's outputting the entire uh, all three bursts at a time right versus if you did um, sorry versus if you chose single step then it would output only one burst at a time and if you chose single sweep then it would output all three bursts at a time and then stop 